Okay, now through the experimental stage here, I got all the data I need for the motor currents and voltage and, and the uh, impedance and things like that. Now I'm ready to solve for the capacitance that's going to be needed for the uh, power supply to uh, for filtering. And there's the equation right there, capacitance in microfarad equals 250 thousandths divided by load resistance times the ripple factor. I'm going to start out with a ripple factor of 5% and the, the uh, load resistance and we used 18 ohms for the impedance as we calculated before and let's see what capacitance will come out with for that at 5% ripple factor. So that's 250 thousandths divided by parentheses 18 ohms times a ripple factor of 5% and that will give me 2700 2,700 microfarad capacitor. Let's try at 1%. Let's go 3% and then 1%. So 3% would be 250 thousand, 250 thousands divided by parentheses 18 ohms given times ripple factor of 3, and that would give us 4,700. So 4,700 UF would be at 3% ripple factor. This is at 5% up here. So let's try 1% ripple factor now. And that would be 250 thousandths divided by 1, or 18. So 250 thousandths divided by 18 ohms. And that equals uh, 13,000. 13,800 microfarad. Alright, so it looks like if I can get a capacitor around a 4,700 microfarad range would be nice for 3% ripple factor. Okay, so I'm going to look online now and see what the best uh, values for capacitors are that I can use and whatever best capacitor value I can find, I'll use that capacitor and and, and uh, design around that value. Okay, so let's go online now and find out a capacitance that would be reasonable priced. Looks like the best bargain I can find here is uh, 2,700 microfarad and that's a 200 volt capacitor which is good which I'm looking for and uh, they're a dollar each so that looks like a pretty good uh, value there so I think I'll work with those. I'll get a few of them so that I can either go from 2,700 five percent I could put two in parallel to go three percent or else I can put three in parallel and get close to one percent ripple factor. And now I want to look for transformers now Right now, I, ha I just have these set up as my test transformers. They're the ones you get from Radio Shack, but I, uh, I want to get some good 24-volt, uh, 4-amp transformers, and that's what gonna, I'm going to look out for next now. Okay, this looks like that might be a good deal there, $6.50 for a 24-volt AC output, 4 amps, and uh, I think that should work pretty good there. So it's a good ideal for making power supplies and battery chargers and things. So okay, I'll use that. I'll go with 24 volt AC output, and I'll calculate now uh, some other things here for the power supply. Okay, I just want to verify that 200 volts for the capacitor uh, is going to be satisfactory for this. So if I use a 24 volt transformers, that's 24 volts AC times 1.414. That'll give me a peak voltage of 33.9 volts for about 34 volts. And if I put uh, three of those in series, that would be about 101 uh, volts output. I take that times 1.5, and that, that's fine. That gives me 152 volts. The uh, capacitance, for the filter capacitance, you want to have about 1.5 times the DC voltage out. 200 volt capacitors work fine for that. They're a bargain price there. And uh, we'll go with the transformers of three transformers. Uh, in series with each other to give me about a hundred and some volts output. Uh, I have plenty of these here bridge rectifiers for uh, power supplies, so I'm good there on that. So the next thing to do now would be to uh, design the voltage regulator now that's going to be the power supply regulator to run all the circuitry now. And that's coming up next. Okay, this is the uh, common uh, regulator, transistor regulator, run the mill regulator very common to build this kind using transistors. What I'll do now is I'll just uh, copy the schematic over here and then I can start figuring out the uh, values for these things.